Hello everyone. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Northern Canada. This is the second take on the afternoon delight reading today. Um, I buggered up the first one, but with the cards laid out, I thought I would leave them there and just start from scratch. Well, not scratch. We'll start from here. And to let you all know that um, you'll probably get the news from this before the zodiacs are out. But my website is complete. It's just one page. Figured that's all I really needed. Um, membership has big rewards. So if you come on over to my site at thejourneyhome.ca um, and subscribe, you'll have access to all of the extended readings for all of the zodiacs and all of the extended readings for all of the afternoon delights for the month. And uh, I, I really do hope you join me there. I want to build me a tribe and I'm I want to do a shout out and a very large thank you to all of you who have reached out and I read every comment too uh, they've been so inspiring moving and uh, absolutely motivational for me to know I'm on the right track here anyway with picking up energies and uh, as you probably know, if you've been with me for a, a wee while, you know that the energies I try to draw are, if anything bad shows up, I want guidance as to what's, what's the next course of action. And this is what I always focus on. I've been doing this since I was a child. My mother did it before me. So let's uh, get on with your reading. Since it's an afternoon delight reading, Guys, uh, this side is you, this side is them. Oh, and I forgot to, I, I offer $25 readings. You can ask as many questions as you like, and I'll answer as many as I can in a t uh, 15 to 20 minute period. Okay, Move, moving right along. The first card that came up for you was the a call. And on their side was the chariot. The significant other is this side. This is you. So... This could be as simple as you getting a call, either by internet or phone, uh, of someone who wants to move towards you. It doesn't state specifically that it, they're bringing a gift or offering a gift or offering anything. It's possible they're just coming to see you. Um, we'll look further into this uh, as we go here as to what's what this is about. Or also could be just about your call. You've moved into a realm of wanting to move towards your destiny. And they see you moving towards your destiny. The next one up was the Six of Air. And they got patience. The Six of Air is about moving to calmer waters. When you got called... Um, it's like a download from the universe. Once you get it, you've got it. And now you're moving to calmer waters. And they are needing a lot of patience. Now, four plus five, two. Four plus one is five. That means unexpected change. So perhaps you're leaving, moving, and they didn't see it coming. Um, you know, breaking communication, perhaps, and they didn't see it coming. Or they thought, you know, things would go as status quo. Three of white on your, water on your side is, it's about celebrations in most decks. And this one, this mermaid looks more like a, uh, the waitress of this festival or celebration but <clears throat> in most decks it's about celebration in this deck what I feel from this card and especially with these cards is that uh, you're celebrating yourself Why do I feel like that? This call and moving to calmer waters. Perhaps you're joining up with family. 
or friends who will embrace you because they know you bring something to the table. They know you. <clears throat> they love you. Your, your sanctuary. They uh, have the page of water. So, okay. This could go, you know, I'm, I've given you two scenarios, but they could also be both scenarios. Now, this page of water on their side is, they're connected to you. There is a very strong magnetic bond to you. It's a, like a psychic connection. If, and I do think they are working on moving towards you, they know they need to be patient before they do. Or if they do now, they'll come in too, too fast, too, too fast. So they're trying to be patient. And hanging on to this psychic connection and bond that they have with you. Perhaps you connect when you're both sleeping. They are also thinking of offering you something. Now this offer is either really small, immature, or the approach, they're fearful in the approach and want to offer you something, but need to be humble in the offering. But the emotions that they have for you, if you look closely, it's like a major tidal wave coming in. So even though the offer might be immature or small, it might be arriving in humility, a declaration. But the emotion behind it is huge. The love they feel or the connection and bond they feel is, well, out of their control, maybe. Out of their control. Now, you've taken on the energy of the Queen of Fire, or you're a fire sign, or you have fire in your charts. But the Queen of Fire, she's having fun. She can be the life of the party, witty, engaging, attractive, magnetic, intelligent, one that is admired. So on your side, you've taken on this energy. Or you're just exuding this energy. Something happened between you and spirit. And something was, uh, oh, some people call it being downloaded. But you received something from spirit into the right side of your brain. Because that's our connection with spirit. It comes in through the right side, actually through the emperor and the empress. Whatever spirit has done here with you in work, and obviously you've done your work because uh, the call was heard. So if this was you calling the universe, it was heard. And now the universe is calling back. This has moved you to a sense of peace. Moving into peace with yourself. And perhaps a physical movement. A trip. Moving. Detachment, even. But whatever you're moving towards, you know you what you're bringing to the table. And wherever you're approaching, or walking towards the people you'll be in 
connection with. Know what you bring to the table. And like I said earlier, they know you. Family, friends, connections, your tribe, both the spirit and physical. Where you have the Queen of Fire, they have the Nine of Air. In other decks, it shows being trapped among many swords. Ten is completion. Ten is like the ultimate hurt and heartbreak, like they're dead. But nine, they're trying to turn them into doves of peace, these swords. Um, they're flapping their wings, trying to control, keep the swords from piercing their heart, their back, their sides, and just killing them all together, trying to transform them into doves of peace. Either that, or they are willfully ignoring the signs around them. And I guess the Ten of Swords would be they didn't see it coming. Now in other readings, what I would see here is that they, they are turning the swords into peace, doves of peace. But I've pointed out before in other readings, you see this swirl here and this swirl here, like eyes. Is this karma? The universe writing the wrongs. And I can say to heal the both of you because you have the nine of fire. Now often this would be about wasting your fairy dust on someone who doesn't deserve it or something that doesn't deserve it. She's trying to transform that little tiny fairy into a, probably a prince. But you see how the magic depletes as it falls. How big this star is and how... It, it's almost like this thing is just... Sucking the energy out of you. And I can say that because... Queen of Fire, when you take on energy like this, and this, and this, and your connection with the universe and yourself, you shine like the sun. When you do that, there's always going to be something out there or someone. It, it attracts good, for sure, that's, but you're, you're like a light that attracts, you know, the moths. They end up getting burned, don't they? When they try to extinguish that light. I see others coming in for it too. Oh, look. Let me put it this way, guys. It could be like, oh, look, that person got that from that person. Let's get it too. Or maybe you're generous with your money or giving. Maybe you don't need to be giving so much. Maybe you realize you didn't want to give anymore because it was stealing your dust. It was stealing your superpower of, of making the world a better place. Shining your light, smiling, being content and happy with yourself. Yeah, they see that. In fact, they don't just see that. This is how they see you. Like a precious diamond. They're like, I cannot believe I found this. There are other diamonds. Perhaps this person 
had options. But now they see this diamond and they can't believe their eyes that they found it. Okay, guys, come on over to my website, thejourneyhome.ca uh, for the extended re reading. I'm going to lay about four more decks on this to get more detail of, as to what's going on. I hope that resonated for some of you. I hope that resonated with most of you. I hope that all of you can get something, take something away from this for the betterment of your day. So I'll see you over at my website. And... Uh, God bless you all. I'll see you on the next Afternoon Delight and the Zodiac should be up, published, three are published, but the rest should be published by the end of tomorrow, all of them. Okay, love you. Bye for now.